Gang, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of creepy, bizarre, mysterious, and mind-blowing videos that we react to, dissect, and decipher. But before we get started, I just want to say I got a bomb haircut today. I'm so excited. Shout out to Act One, my favorite Dominican salon ever. She be hooking me up, and I absolutely love it. So shout out to them. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into these videos. coming in since 1985, really I would say 1980, is an old soul. They are here to fight, but in a way that you don't even understand. They are here to reawaken you, to help get guidance, and they all must be centered. You cannot leave those souls alone. They did not come here to be left alone. If you leave them alone, they will come into the maturity of the animal body and they will fight and kill. They have done it before, they will do it again. If you guide them, they will not be abused by computers, they master computers. In fact, it kicks in their neuron centers faster. The sounds that you hear on the air in rap, the rap is only the soul that is very angry and it needs to be angry because it needs that strength of again, the, uh, what do you call it, the gland of fight and flight. Can't think of the gland right now I'm talking about. It needs that kind of a quickening and awakening. But it also needs a time for peace and quiet. And you will find once they go through that, they suddenly fall asleep and they sleep very deeply because that is also to bring balance. But mark my word, none of these children are weak. These children are strong beyond belief and they can take things that you could not take that's why they chose this time of birth. They can be very good. They can be very bad. I definitely understand where he's coming from. It really makes a lot of sense explaining people's traits, characteristics, and personalities nowadays. But I got a weird feeling about these Apple Vision headset things. I mean, it does feel like a Black Mirror episode. Everyone is in their own virtual world. Apple basically took virtual reality to the next level. It's like having your phone or laptop in your head. Check this out. <laughs> actually had one of those but for some reason we didn't really use them that much and i don't think it's a good thing to really introduce into your reality we don't know how it affects people in the long run as you could tell like with social media and facebook we can see how much is damaging people and just having these you know iphones and everything like that i just don't think another edition of ai or virtual reality is going to do any better down to the 12th uh story deep they discovered fourteen thousand ventilation shafts all of them about maybe an inch to two inches wide leading to even the deepest of levels in specific angles that allow oxygen to flow and circulate throughout the entire underground city that's amazing <laughs> and this what? city is so big and i do mean city because it can hold thirty thousand people <laughs> she looks like wow. she doesn't care. with rooms and areas for livestock it even had worship centers under there really yeah what do you she, did, she really wasn't interested in none of the information that he just told. I promise you that. But that was some pretty interesting stuff. To control you. If the churches took half the money that they was making and gave it back to the community, we'd be all right. And they take half the buildings that they used to praise God and gave it to motherfuckers who need God, we'd be all right. We'd be all right. Have you seen some of these goddamn churches lately? It's ones that take up the whole block in New York. It's homeless people out here. Why ain't God letting them stay there? Why these niggas got gold ceilings and shit? Why God need gold ceilings to talk to me? I say this all the time. Every time I'm driving somewhere, it seems like there's all these different churches. And the funny thing about a church is that you're supposed to be united. But there's all these branches of a Christian church. Baptist, Catholic, non-denominational, 
whatever it is, it's like, why are y'all so divided to the point where you have three churches on one block? That doesn't make any type of sense. And then on top of that, we have all these abandoned buildings and millions of homeless people all over the place. So something is not right. It's like you guys are putting money into the wrong thing. And a lot of these churches are refusing like funerals and burials. If you do not pay tithes to the church and things like that, they'll re they will really deny you and your family. To know about a 6,000 year old secret. Mankind has been trying to decipher this one little thing called the flower of life. Now, you know, this is one of the oldest symbols in human history, right? This symbol was found in the temple of Osiris in Egypt, and it had been molecularly burned into the wall. The same symbol has been found in the forbidden temples in China, sitting under the fufu dogs, saying whoever controlled that flower of life controlled the universe. There were secrets in that flower of life that da Vinci spent his whole life trying to uncover. There were secrets in that flower of life that Newton spent his whole life in secret trying to uncover. The same secrets that Pythagoras was desperately trying to uncover. But their problem was they kept seeing this in a two-dimensional space. They couldn't get it out of this two-dimensional frame. And as a result, they got stuck in this plane, a flat plane. They were misled by something I think called a straight line. I was really getting into that type of stuff for a while now. And now I'm glad that I'm seeing actual celebrities bring this stuff into light. I know a lot of us have been learning about this way before anybody has brought it up to mainstream. But like I said, I'm very happy for mainstream celebrities to be revealing this type of information because they have a lot of trust and they have a lot of people looking up to them. So that's an amazing way to spread wisdom and knowledge. Mind. Look at Ephesians 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, so that's the King James. Now look what it says in the Geneva Bible. This one is from 1560. This is before the King James. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the worldly governors, the princes of darkness of this world. And notice how it didn't use against again, which means the worldly governors are the princes of darkness of this world. And against spiritual wickedness, which are in the high places. So not only are we in a spiritual battle, we're also being attacked by the worldly governors, the princes of darkness of this world. But if you research why he had it translated this way, was because certain things threatened his authority and his power. He also removed all 15 books of the Apocrypha, which are all in the Geneva Bible. King James literally banned the Geneva Bible, and it was for a reason. The Geneva Bible came before the King James. Let me know if you guys want a part two where I expose more of the we begin. I love videos like that. That exposes so much information. But once again, everything that we hear online, on YouTube, anything like that, we definitely still want to do our own research because anybody could say anything. I absolutely love that quote just because it always reminds me that um, anytime that I'm going through something or I see somebody going through something, it's not always just the physical things that we see with our eyes that may be in charge or the cause of our misguidance or misunderstanding or just us going through certain things. A lot of times it's something that's spiritual and it's not seen to the naked eye. We really have to use our discernment and, you know, just our spirit to really understand that there's other things out there that are going on that are spiritual and not physical. Now, what he said about the King James Bible, that's a completely black and white contrast compared to what it says in the Geneva Bible, which is super interesting. Every time that we lack information or information is taken from us, we lose more and more power. So it's very important to get original versions versions of things and original meanings just like we just saw and one more thing as you guys know previous video that we just did I believe it was episode 9 we just talked about King James and how they stated that one of the many things that we didn't know about him is that he actually had a male lover and his name was Buckingham so therefore he named the home the Buckingham Palace so I'm not sure if that is actually legit. We definitely need to look that one up because like I said, the internet says a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But if that's actually true, that will be incredibly hypocritical because of what the Bible says in regards to homosexuality and things like that. To hear more and more about sunspot activities, solar prominences, perturbations, and how our sun is a deadly enemy about to annihilate us all because it is going to burn us up with x-rays and gamma rays not 
all of us. <laughs> Not all of us. Some of us. And who are the us's? Never are the chosen. How are you chosen? You choose yourself. By following the disciplines you know you should have been doing, not tomorrow, but yesterday. By doing the readings and the research and taking the time to spend in meditation, the things you thought you should have done five years ago, you start them immediately tomorrow. Today. So when it comes to this subject, this is another one of those things that people are just catching on to now. A lot of people are going through physical changes. A lot of people are getting headaches and body aches and almost diseases because they are getting forced by God, by the universe, by our new earth to cleanse and to get rid of all those toxic ailments inside of us, whether it's physical, spiritual, emotional, mental, they need to go. They need to get flushed out. And as you know, when we release toxins, a lot of times you get into almost a flu-like symptom. A lot of those things that are happening right now is because you are forced to get rid of it or you will have a very hard time or will not be making it to the higher frequencies of the newer earth. The people that are familiar with this have been going through it slightly, carefully, and to the point where they can handle it and know what their body and mind is going through as well as spirit. But the people that are unaware of this are having a very hard time. Just like we have to cleanse ourselves, earth has to cleanse itself. And as you know, when we get healthier in any type of way, our vibration, our frequency changes as well. All right. Your body... <clears throat> knows how to repair everything. If your bones are weak, your body knows how to regrow them. If your muscles are wasting away, joints are breaking down, your internal organs are falling apart, you got things going wrong with you, there's no incurable disease. There is a point of no return, there's permanent damage, but if you get to anything wrong with a system going in here, if you get to it in time, do the right things, your body can repair it. So I'm going to explain it, and this is all you need for your body to repair itself. Ready? Get this. A surplus of energy in a hydrated alkaline environment. A surplus of energy in a hydrated alkaline environment, and your body will repair everything. Just like we spoke about this, guys, we need to get healthier. A surplus of energy, I'm understanding from this, is probably raw fruit and vegetables as well as sunlight. And probably to balance it all out, grounding, so we can really decrease any type of mucus and any type of inflammation, which is the number one cause. The world, in the witchcraft hierarchy, they have codes that determines their levels of power. All zero, zero, three, six, six, six. So that is the 999 level. Every barcode has to have one of these three numbers. But within those series of numbers, you always will find a three in it, or a six, or a nine. And why is that? There are derivatives of byproducts of, of number three. And every barcode, when they scan it, it has information where it was bought, what time it was bought, what store sold it. It's a tracking system of goods and products. Most people today have a smartphone. The smartphone is embedded with a technology that is trackable. It sold it to us that you can find your phone, therefore this tracking mechanism is good. But the underlying object, object is to be able to get to the point where everybody in the world under the Antichrist system will be monitored. The tracking device is leading to that. If they sold it as if it's a device that is good for you to have on the phone because he helps you find it lies that he has people focused on little stuff while in the background he's creating an army to control humanity but thank god for jesus christ when that time comes servants of jesus will not be here to be subject to them now, I kind of understood what he was saying, but if anybody wants to explain that a little bit better, I would love to hear it. I know he stated that every barcode should have them numbers, but I mean, those are the numbers that we use on the regular basis. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be in the barcodes anyways. But yes, those barcodes 100% track 
what time you buy them, who you are that buys them. They have all this consumer information to be able to advertise to you and do all kinds of stuff. Who even knows how far they take it? Disturbing part of the internet. Keep in mind, this is educational purposes only. So there's this website called Schnoden. And this website allows you to access all different types of cameras and web cameras. So if you type in this right here and hit enter, then you click the first one, then this page will pop up and then this is where you do the search. So for this example, we're going to use webcam and hit search. Then we get a whole list of them. And let's get a little creative. I want to see webcams in Chicago. So I hit search. So I found this church which is crazy as hell. Now let's try webcam XP. Hit search. And this is in front of someone's house. Wow. That's insane. Here's another one. Oh shit. I don't know what that was, but anyways. Just keep in mind, you could just mess around with the searches and see what you could find. So let's try Phoenix. Then we got more right here. Always remember, privacy is an illusion. You know, every time we do like an update with our phones, it always gives us this huge statement of laws and regulations that they're about to apply to us. And we have to like agree if we want to keep using it. I wonder if the same thing happens to like the cameras that you use personally for your house, like the ring camera, or if they store any type of your videos or that type of information, like do they have the right to do that? I will be shocked if they didn't. One battery on the bottom and, and should turn on. Let's try it. <gasps> so sicko mode. Doing what I'm doing. I've even had a record company, and I, I don't want to lamb blast nobody's name or anything, but they told me, Hammer, you know what the problem is? You're a little too clean. Here's what we're going to do. Why don't you start to uh, uh, do a few things that maybe uh, dirty up your image a little bit? Maybe we can sell a little more records. I've had all that. I told them, go, you know, that's not me. I lived that life. I've been around with people involved in that. I'm going to continue to do what I do. Whether they like it or not, I'm gonna try to encourage the kids to do the right thing. That doesn't mean that I live the perfect life. I'm telling them to stay away from the negative things so that they won't ruin their lives. Every time there's a little bit of wisdom, a little bit of teaching going on, they will take you out. They will shut you up and they will put you in the corner. Because imagine as hard as they work to give you misinformation and to lead us into ignorance, they cannot afford to have anybody like that because of the wisdom that they were trying to show us and teach us. Virus we manufacture. Again, the most important thing to know about diamonds, there's two, there's two major myths. The first myth that about diamonds is that diamonds are rare, and they're not. Diamonds are really common, and their value does not come from their scarcity. In the 20th century, in fact, has been the story of how diamonds have been restricted from entering the market. The second myth about diamonds is that you know, they're connected in some intrinsic way you know, to love and to marriage and to courtship. And again, this is uh, a story that was, uh, that was created around 1947 when someone, when a, a, a copywriter at the NWA's advertising agency on, in Madison Avenue, not far from here, um, came up with a slogan that diamond is forever. Uh, and that, 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 that the, the diamond is forever was an attempt to make diamonds a mass consumer item. And once again, how do we understand that diamonds are important or they're valuable or they're this and that? 99% of us are getting this information through movies or through commercials. Hi, we're the Illuminati. Hi. Hello. Hi. So we heard about your big special. We are very excited. Yeah, thanks. Me too. Yeah, but before you can do a special on a major cable network, we're going to need you to sign some things. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we're also going to need you to swear a blood oath to us and our cause. And if you violate this oath, we're going to murder you and everyone that you love. Got it. Great. Great. You'll also need to pledge your soul to Baphomet. He's this god that we all worship. Mm -hmm. Okay. He looks pretty cool. He's like a crazy goat man kind of thing. Now, we will need you to include some of our messaging in your program. Oh, okay. So, you mean, like, there's going to be a commercial sponsor or something? No, 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 nothing, nothing tacky like that, no. We just want you to have some, you know, self-destructive themes. You know, like, we use a lot of hip-hop artists to glorify violence and drugs, uh, pop stars to push materialism, country acts to instill suspicion of education. Oh, okay, that sounds cool. We'll also need to film you in a lewd act with a minor to use as blackmail if you ever think of telling anyone about anything that happened here today. Now, could I self-tape that, or is that something that you'd want me to shoot here? We'd like you to do that here. Yeah. Who said well, that? Well, finally, 
We're gonna need a suicide note in your own handwriting, just in case things get crazy. Yo, that last part? Wow. Wow. That's probably literally what happens. But uh, you talk about uh, you have a few Grammys, but feel like you had to sell your soul to get them. The blood of artists and nominate them, have them come to the shows. and Which they do. Is they that do it every year. Yeah. And I, I, I got, I'm just tired of seeing it. And for whatever reason, it's like they're always pitching this hint that you might win album of the year, which is a used to be a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal now. I'm fine if I lose to Kanye or someone that I'm like, okay, I respect that. I know who that is. And Kanye has a huge following and he's made a massive impact on music. Fine. I'm good with that. But don't get us all here to use your selling point for your show and stiff everybody every single time. And I said, after that point in time, I was like, don't ever ask me to come here. Can you imagine being like a well-respected rapper, songwriter, artist, and then you lose to some new artists that you can't even understand what they're talking about on the song? Once again, we can clearly see the agenda because we could just see how they push these new artists that make absolutely no sense. That's not even interesting. It's just the same thing over and over again. Cookie cutter musicians and rappers, especially for the females. I mean, there's absolutely not one female that's different than the other. Drive off the edge. Oh my god. No f way. Wait a minute. What? Dude, no. <gasps> Right now, just oh, did he just drive off that bridge? Hold on, why can't we never get information about what happened after that? It's had a power outage and it's really bad. Even people in restaurants are eating with candle lights on. If anybody knows what happened, let us know. I hope everyone goes home safely. The only thing that I heard of recently was the Toronto blackouts. Those are that one was super crazy. You guys have to go look that up. Disney Corp taking kids to Epstein's Island. They sold snorkeling excursions to little kids, and guess where they'd stop? Little St. James Island. Disney have had long association with Jelaine Maxwell, who was known for recruiting girls for the island. Disney's satanic roots have also previously been exposed. Perhaps the tunnels under Disney World should. Yo, how do you do that as a woman? Why would you do that and how do you do that? You literally have to be the devil. Why would you do that? Be investigated, especially after the recent discovery of the Jewish tunnels. The best way to resist the system and its agendas is self-improvement using the free Telegram channel in our bio. So we'll see you in there. The driver's license is one of the major instruments that is used politically to sustain slavery. When they gave you that driver's license, it was to incorporate you as a corporate person was not an instrument for identification. It has a picture that represents you, and then it has some phonetic writing on the front that sounds like the name that you have, but that's not you. The picture can't represent you, and the name does not represent you. That name represents a private corporation or what they call often a straw man too. You notice that grammatically it's incorrect. Why is it incorrect? You capitalize nouns. If you don't capitalize a noun, then it must not be a noun. But if all the letters are capitalized, it's not a proper noun, is it? It's grammatically incorrect if it's directed as a, at a person. Why do you think that was done? Do you think it's accidental? The fact that it expires proves what to you relative to identity? Does your identity expire? Well, why does your identity expire with the driver's license? Because it's not an identification. It's a proof of contract. It's a prima facie instrument used to regulate your economy. They listed you as Negroes, Blacks, and Colors as corporations and list you as foreigners and that your working is a corporate activity for capital gains. By you being Smith, Jones, and Johnson, it automatically puts you as a ward of the state so they can impose upon you that license in the first place. You're actually paying a foreign European who you keep calling white and claim Dang, you guys, did you know anything about that? I know I heard a lot about um, our social security numbers, but I've never heard about this before. Ghost cities? Ghost cities. And what I mean by ghost cities is not literal ghosts, but they're building these huge cities. No one lives there. Cities for 30, 40 million people, and no one is there. People don't understand why they're doing this. I do. Beijing is right by the sea. Shanghai is right by the sea. The sea levels are going to rise. These people got to move. These idiots in America and in Europe want to carbon tax people <laughs> instead of building mega cities in Omaha. 
mega cities in Denver. Now you understand what Denver airport's doing there. Here. As soon as the age of Aquarius hits, the silly sea levels are going to rise. Police in Turkey have recovered a Bible thought to be a thousand years old. Now, this is quite a discovery. Fragments of a biblical scroll. Turkish authorities have confirmed that an ancient Bible thought to be 1,500 years old. Books have been used as a permanent record of history ever since the practice was first developed. Modern historians have taken an interest in these writings in an effort to decipher their mysteries. Some of these books, however, stand out because of the unsettling information they contain. They contain details of strange happenings and languages that have not been spoken in thousands of years. And one of these books is a recently discovered old Bible that has some scary revelations. You guys, why do I always get the feeling that it would be so easy for them to say that they discovered something and the whole time they made it up? How easy would it be for them to change history and manipulate anything from the past, present, and future? Let's get into part two. The Bible was not technically a Bible, but rather a book documented by St. Barnabas, an associate of Apostle Paul. The book was found when a group of antiquities thieves was apprehended while attempting to smuggle the Bible and other treasures worth millions of dollars. All of the pages are made of animal hide, and the material is written in difficult-to-replicate handwriting. Written by hand in Syriac, this book has an estimated worth of about $20 million. It is an Aramaic dialect that is also Jesus' native tongue. Several specialists have examined the book and concluded that it is between 1,500 and like 2,000 that. years old, with the possibility of being... See, stuff like that. I feel like they could just come out with this saying that they just found information like this and just manipulate the whole world into believing like, wow, we just got some new information. Let's go buy this information. With the possibility of being older. The contents of this book, on the other hand, are unusual. The Gospel of St. Barnabas claims that instead of Jesus, Judas was crucified and that Jesus ascended to heaven while he was still alive. You guys, with that being said, we have come to the end of the compilation. Now, those were some dope videos. We got some good insight. We got some good information, some wisdom, everything that we're looking for on a daily basis. I feel like we got a daily dose with that. This episode was bomb, but as always, I cannot wait for the next episode, you guys. First and foremost, before we end this video, I want to say shout out to everybody that's been supporting our YouTube channel and been showing us so much love. You guys mean the world to me. I appreciate each and every one of you. For everybody that's new on the channel, please come join our family. All you have to do is like the video, hit that notification bell down below and subscribe. Come join us. When it comes to these compilation videos, this is really where it's at. But for now, guys, that is it. That is all. Be good and do right. And I will catch you on the next one.